Our vision on this farm is, is really about leaving a legacy, leaving things better than they were when we found them. So that if my kids one day want to take this farm over, they can start with things better than they were when I started. My name is Jake Ludwi and I farm near Fillmore, Saskatchewan. We farm 13,000 acres. You don't typically farm all that in one block, right? I mean, that would be pretty risky. So I guess from corner to corner, it's about 35 miles, which is a long, slow drive in a combine. We've been in this yard since 1956. Grandma and Grandpa moved here from another farm and then they left and Mom and Dad moved into the house. Our biggest crop is almost always canola. We farm wheat, durum, peas, lentils, soybeans, flax. We have a long season and it's relatively dry, so there's lots of different things we can try. We're in harvest now. It's, uh, it's a hard season to describe because every day is different and every day there's more complications. So we've got eight of us working on the farm right now to run the three combines, the grain cart, and the semi-trucks, along with anything and everything else that needs to be operated during the harvest season. The canola that we're taking off today is somebody's cooking oil, or the wheat that we took off yesterday is somebody's bread. And obviously we think about that when we're growing these crops and we want to make sure they're safe. That's very important to us. We talk a lot about building a legacy on this farm, and that means we have to look after things. I've always felt that rotation was probably the first step in managing pests. If we can grow a, a different crop year over year on the same piece of land versus growing the same one over and over and over again, managing pests on a crop this size is, uh, is a challenge. I mean, when we're growing seven to eight crops, we really have to think about what kind of products we're gonna be able to use in those crops. We need access to products that we can go out and we can spray a whole field and know that we're just killing weeds. We're not killing anything else. And to be able to do it safely, Safely because we're the ones who are out there using them. When Grandma and Grandpa moved here, they were farming a quarter section, which is 160 acres. Was a That was a good sized field. They would often split that up into a few different crops, maybe some was pasture. What we're doing is kind of going back to that same line of thinking. We're taking big fields and we're breaking them up into little pieces and saying, okay, this chunk of land over here is better than this piece over here on the same field. And now with technology on our air drills, we can actually pre-program in higher fertilizer rates in those spots or higher seeding rates. All of our equipment is run by computers and what we can do with this information is pretty incredible. How much more efficient we can be. I think right now we're really just at the beginning of what we're going to be able to do with precision ag. When we start talking about being able to change varieties within a field, that would be really interesting because we could actually tie a certain varieties characteristics to what that part of the field would be best suited for. Grandma wishes that she had access to the stuff that we have today when she was young. She thinks it's fascinating. She finds it a little bit hard to understand because it's so different now, but she just loves it.